In this video, we'll look at whether PCL5, that's phosphorus pentachloride, is polar or nonpolar. So the first thing we'll do, let's look at the bonds here. So we have our phosphorus in the center, and each one of the green atoms, those are chlorine atoms. So we want to look at the phosphorus chlorine bond, see if the bond itself is polar or nonpolar. To do that, we can look at the electronegativity. So here is phosphorus 2.19, chlorine 3.16. Since the difference here is greater than 0 0.5, but less than 2.0, this is considered to be a polar bond. So the bond between the phosphorus and the chlorine, each one of these bonds here, that's going to be a polar bond. But overall, we need to look at the structure here, the 3D structure, to figure out if this is going to be a polar molecule. So we can have polar bonds, but the molecule could still be nonpolar. Let's look at a visualization. So the purple, that's the phosphorus. We're going to add chlorine atoms. 1, 2, they spread out, 3, 4, and 5. So PCL5, this is the structure for PCL5. And you'll notice that it's symmetrical around the equator, around the middle. These three chlorines, they're all pointed in opposite directions, equal bond angles between them. And then the chlorine on the top and on the bottom, they're also pointing in opposite directions. So what happens is that the net dipole ends up being zero because all these on the equator, they cancel out, then these two cancel out. We have a nonpolar molecule for PCL5. So back at our Lewis structure, we have PCL5, and we say that the whole molecule is nonpolar because we have these three dipoles, these all cancel out, and then these two here, they cancel each other out as well. We have this net dipole of zero. PCL5 is a nonpolar molecule, even though each individual phosphorus chlorine bond itself is polar. This is Dr. B answering the question whether PCL5, phosphorus pentachloride, is polar or nonpolar. The bonds are polar, but the overall molecule, it's nonpolar. Thanks for watching.